we have this slogan that says Pedro will take naked the leads, others follow if they can. Federal Polytechnic Nekade Oweri in Imo State was established by the Imo State Edict Number 16 of 1978. It took off as College of Technology Oweri with its motto, Knowledge and Skill for Service. In October 1980, the said College of Technology finally got moved to her present permanent site. Following the high standards of academic excellence, the federal government then took over the general ownership and management of the school in April 1993 and renamed it afterwards as the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri. Hi viewers, welcome to Poly Nekede Diary. I am Chao Lamuke. On this diary, we will be unveiling and bringing to you various activities and achievements of engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa. Director of Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere. On the third day of October 2018, history was recorded in the Poly Nekede Diary. An alumnus of this great citadel of learning was for the first time since the inception of this institution inaugurated as the eighth substantive rector of the institution in the person of engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa. This brought great joy to the entire Polytechnic community. The internally generated rector, as he is fondly called, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, in his inaugural speech, unveiled his agenda to make the Federal Polytechnic Nekede remain the number one and most sought after polytechnic in Nigeria. This, he promised, will be achieved within the boundaries of extant laws and regulations established by his predecessors. This day opens a new chapter in a rich and eventful history of the Polytechnic. It is a new dawn, a new, a new day, a new era, and it is according to the design of our Father in Heaven. The new administration will strive to sustain the existing legacies and break new grounds of development for the institution. The administration has 14 goals and 72 targets. This administration shall focus on excellence in academic standards in an atmosphere of industrial harmony, sound teaching, learning, and working environment. We shall explore opportunities in new technologies for sustainable energy supply to the institution to save costs, enhance security, and, and promote a decent work environment. We shall partner with government and its agencies to attract the construction of a defeating access road. The rector maintained that his 14-point goals and 72 targets will be solidly based on excellence. On assumption of office, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa immediately embarked on the inspection of facilities within the institution. This was done in a bid to investigate and ascertain what is and what isn't, so as to then put in place all things lacking and dearly required. Engineer Dr. Michael Arimangwa, our internally generated rector, who rose from the status of student to lecturer and now rector, is of the better experience to handle the challenges and understand the solution required to place this institution in an enviable stratosphere. I schooled in this place. I did ND1, ND2 and went through the ranks. I believe that the ovation that heralded my coming um, was because all the staff and students of this institution were expectants with all that I have acquired, the knowledge I have acquired, it will be important I will be in a position where the things I have learned over time will be exercised and implemented. Academic excellence is, is what this institution is known for. We have come to establish the fact that our students must learn to be hardworking and uh, we have um, encouraged our students through award of um, scholarship 
and a few other things to encourage those who are really hardworking. To this effect, the rector, who believes that teamwork is highly indisputable, assembled the various heads of the academic and non-academic departments to discuss their challenges in order to prefer a good solution. The ever pragmatic and focused rector swung into action through a digitalized approach towards achieving academic and administrative excellence by turning the Federal Polytechnic Nekede into a smart village. This Smart Campus Initiative, which is the milestone of the Rector, was launched on the third day of December 2019. The realization of the significance of ICT, especially in our great institution, has informed management's commitment to implement the FPNO Smart Campus for enhancing teaching skills, learning and administrative activities and processes in this great institution. The FPNO Smart Campus is an effective management solution designed to manage all the institution's constituents, including applicants, students, faculties, alumni, staff, collaborators, e-library, test conductor for CBT exams, results checker, email, human resources, etc. etc. Smart Campus supports the unique academic mission of the Polytechnics through automation of these activities at the basic level. Why are we making this smart move? I call it a smart move because while your peers are still happy to do analog in, um, investment, while people are still buying A4 paper for printing, why people are still happy to be running around the bursa and the registrar, you are deciding to take it one level higher. The reason you are taking it one level higher is because in a few years' time, everyone will turn back and look at this place and say, we made the best decision for our children unborn. And I think for me, this is the best thing we have done today. Today, I can say, if you look at the designers group and you look at the business that we are getting, you say the best accountants have always come from Nekede. So for me, this is something worth doing and something we all must consolidate and do as a family and as a team. The project Smart Campus means embracing technology and innovation in all aspects of service delivery. In a management policy, is a management policy aimed at making our institution visible in the global educational sector. The Smart Campus project will provide a robust, flexible, scalable online digitalization and management system with intuitive, user-friendly and user interface capable of automating the core operations of the processes involved in management activities, data transformation of all master data sets, key business of enterprise, great reporting capabilities of the institution. The initiative supports the implementation of MBTE's National Vocational Qualification Framework, which aims at restoring the unique identity of technical and vocational education in Nigeria. The development of ICT system is guaranteed to ad address the problems of manual transcript management, improve the overall quality of services, as well as drive internally generated revenue for the institution. As we launch this project today, I believe the institution will, will have live integrations to local and international switches for online payment processes, as well as tight couplings to SMS and email services for real-time notifications across the system. I implore all our students and staff to key into this project and take their studies and work seriously. Our digital rector, Dr. Engineer Michael Chidebere Arimawa, he is digitalizing every department in the institution. He wants everything to move according to the spirit of the time. You can see that to tell you that he's so interested in digitalizing the institution, we held two different elections the student union government election and the staff that were elected 
into the governing council in the recent time. Everything was done online and everybody was monitoring it. So everybody was so happy that that particular exercise, those two exercises were perfect, were so wonderful that nobody has any question mark on them. The most important thing about this Might Campus initiative is its provision of robust, flexible, and scalable online digitalization, thereby automating core operations and processes involved in all management activities. This means replacement of total traditional manual operations in the institution. These operations include purchase of admission forms, admission tests, and the certificate screening of successful candidates, medical screening, online course registration, biometric identification card, and administration of computer-based tests for our general courses, such as mathematics, English, citizenship education, etc. We have clearance processes, the e-library, and conduction of all student union government elections through electronic voting. This implies that the Federal Polytechnic NECADE will embrace technology and innovations in all aspects of service delivery, in line with the ongoing digitalization of administrative and academic processes. Engineer Dr. Arimawa ensured prompt refurbishing and re-establishment of one more standard computer-based test center. This, he maintained, that its merits would be of use during the examinations on general courses and HND screening tests, which automatically reduces the cost of printing in general. The usage of these centers is equally extendable to JAM and other external bodies that conduct computer-based tests for their screenings and examination activities. Other important benefits include the reduction in examination malpractices and the upward improvement in the quality of learning on campus. The rector, in his agenda to embark on rapid infrastructural development, moved into work to complete all ongoing projects and erection of new strategic projects to provide enough conducive learning and administrative space for effective and efficient productivity among students and staff. The Rector, in his drive to maintaining academic checks in excellence, inaugurated an anti-plagiarism committee. The committee is made up of the academic staff union, librarians and lecturers from different schools and faculties. This committee is headed by the Polytechnics Librarian, Dr. Chris Anya, and deputized by the Director for Academics and Quality Assurance Department, Dr. O. N. Isirim. The Anti-Plagiarism Committee aims at putting a check on academic standards, integrity, and excellence to ensure quality academics that measures up globally. In furtherance to the effectiveness and workability of the anti-plagiarism tests, the rector organized a sensitization lecture for all the academic staff of the institution therein. Part of an effective and efficient academic environment is integrity. Integrity of academic works and products. To this end, we set up an anti-plagiarism committee with the Polytechnic Librarian of the Greece Kenya as the chairman. We gave them mandates to ensure that all academic and journal papers of lecturers to be sent out for external assessment went through in the institution's anti-plagiarism screening first. The reason for this is to establish a prima facie evidence of integrity of such papers. So that it's very clear that before we send out something to be assessed by other people, that we have done our own assessment, internal assessment, convincing ourselves that there is at least a prima facie evidence that this paper is or this work is original. Papers published in journals registered with Thompson Reuters, Thompson Reuters and Scopus may not have to go through external assessment. In future, that's, that's a proposal that management is also looking at. Because policy routers and scopus, if you if you have journals that are registered with them, the award class, they don't just publish anything. 
Before they publish your paper, they pass it through plagiarism test. And it's not this type of journal that you write a paper today and in two weeks, it's already online. Our sister institution, the Federal University of Technology of Wales, has gone far in their fight against plagiarism. It is for this reason that we have invited our resource persons from Kutu to assist us in the process of laying a proper foundation. It is hoped that all of you will take advantage of this sensitization program to know all that you need to know about the fight against plagiarism. The sensitization lecture was to put the academic staff on the know about the fight against plagiarism based on its consequences and avoidance. A remarkable history was made on the third day of April 2019 as our first indigenous rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa, performed his first induction ritual as the eighth substantive rector of the Federal Polytechnic Nekebe. This landmark event made him recall the emotional moment he experienced many years ago as a matriculant in this same institution. During the occasion, a lot of colors were added, which include a command color party by the Boys Brigade, Guard of Honor by the Man of War, traditional cultural performances by the native rural indigents, and even pageantry by the polytechnic models. This set of matriculating students is the first that I have the rare privilege of welcoming as the eighth substantive rector of this institution. As I look at these young ones seated here today, I recall with, a deep, with deep feelings of nostalgia my experience as a matriculating student of this institution many years ago. I sat down with my parents and listened to the address by the then rector, engineer professor O.J. Ezozamaka. It is a great honor and privilege that, I've, that I have, through the grace of God and hard work, made progress to become the rector of the same institution and matriculating new students today. The history is thus being made today and we are part of it as we witness this matriculation ceremony of our national diploma and higher national diploma regular part-time evening and weekend programs superintended for the first time by a former student, now rector of the institution. It is for this reason that this group of students will always be very special to me. This matriculation ceremony is particularly significant because it marks the transition from the outgone administration of Dr. Mrs. C. Unjoko to the present administration headed by my humble self. It is indeed a landmark and epoch-making ceremony, a matriculation ceremony that not only ushers in new students of a new era, but by the grace of God, new ideas and innovation-driven methods of approach to ensure peace, development, and progress in our dear institution. When I sat like you on my matriculation day, I knew that my quest for higher education will change my life. I pray today that your admission to this institution will become the platform that will launch you into a better and greater life in the years to come. In the month of December, 2019, the rector also carried out his first convocation ceremony, which in turn was honored by different caliber of well-decorated dignitaries nationwide. The rector, who believes in the reward for hard work and diligence, went further to honor and decorate the 2019 most outstanding graduating students as a way to further encourage excellence in academics. Authority conferred on me, I award you the National Diploma a higher national diploma of the Federal Polytechnic Nekedo Uwere in your respective areas. Congratulations. In bridging the gaps and bringing in further developments, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, in his inaugural speech, sets a target of aggressive advocacy to attract relevant agencies and good spirited individuals for the development of both human and capital resources within the very institution. Today, the Federal Polytechnic Nekede is enjoying the numerous benefits of these synergies provided by his dear administration. 
One of such is the Chief Executive Officer of Zionox Computers, Chief Leo Stan Eke, who thought it viable to lend support to the administrative agenda of turning the Federal Polytechnic into a technological smart vicinity. In achieving this, the CEO of Zynox Computers activated a technological drive by subsidizing 600 pieces of HP laptops at 60,000 Naira each. He also offered 100 pieces of the Zynox Z-Pad 7 Pro notebook. These offerings today has made majority of the staff members become technologically vibrant in the terms of service delivery and other daily clerical responsibilities. Looking at this, uh, the synergy between the institution and Zynox, we found out that Zynox have been here for a very long time with, during one course tenure and moved through Dr. Mrs. Njako's tenure. And doc, uh, Dr. Engineer Remawa did not make any mistake in keeping them. He saw what they did, but he had a new challenge because of the smart campus he was to create and also making sure that the staff of the institution are digitalized, that they are computerized in uh, their activities. So he continued the, the synergy with them. And Zynos is something that was very unique. At a time, we never knew COVID would come. But because the rector had a vision of meeting the times and what will happen within the times, Zynox had an, an understanding where the institution staff were given opportunity to get laptops at a subsidized rate. And the mo and money they paid, they were, they were given opportunity to spread it in a way that it will not affect them or cause problem with the friction of finance that accrues to them through salary. So it, it is a good one. Engineer Dr. Michael Ariman was undaunted interest in staff and students' development went an extra mile to sign a mutual cooperation agreement with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria on the 23rd day of September 2020. The synergy with ICANN is a good one and it's more of academics because of the professional expertise and professional experience that you get through ICANN and the student difficulty in getting chartered when they leave the institution. So the synergy is a thing that makes it possible for our students while still in school. They can enroll with ICANN at various stages. By the time they graduate, they will finish the coursework and the exams that will give them the professional qualification before they can now go higher. We found it difficult, most of the students in accounting department, to chatter outside the institution. When you have that synergy, or as we have the synergy now, it helps the student to study the academic aspect of accounting, as well as the professional aspect that has to do with the practicality of what you find in the financial and accounting industry. And that gives them, gives them a, double, uh, a double experience and a competitive age by the time they graduate as accounting students. The rector, having understood the need to expand his horizon, brought in the first daughter of the president, Fatima Mohammed Buhari, to have a first-hand investigative view of the facilities on ground, especially in the areas of the medical and fabrication centers within the institution. Fatima Mohamed Buhari, led by the Director for Medical and Health Services, Dr. Ethelbert Mberebe, took a facility tour of different units in the medical center, which are the laboratory units, x-ray unit, pharmacy, female ward, and pediatric ward, among others. She further extended her tour to the fabrication center of the institution, where the director of the center, engineer Dr. Eze Onukuga, took her around the center for a spot-on assessment for necessary collaborations. I'm really, really amazed by the way I'm being welcomed and the reception that I'm getting from the Do our possible best to see how we can try to 
Indeed, these are mind-blowing landmark achievements of our internally generated director, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, carried out within a short space of time as director, Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere. But guess what? You ain't seen nothing. In our subsequent episodes, we will be unveiling lots of giant strides by our rector. See you in our next episodes. I remain Chi Awalamuke. Okay.